Um, this is Ian Bell from Gateway 3D. Thank you for attending this morning. Um, I'll be starting the presentation in uh, about a minute or so, so if you just bear with me, um, and we'll get going shortly. Okay, thank you. Right, good morning. Um, yes, Ian Bell from Gateway 3D. Thank you for um, attending the webinar this morning. Uh, this morning's webinar is to look at the importance of e-commerce as a selling platform for the promotional products industry. Um, what I wanted to do to start with is to sort of concentrate on how e-commerce works and how that can translate into your businesses. So initially, I thought, what is e-commerce? The good place to start is Wikipedia. Now, I just wanted to check through these details here. Basically, the point that everybody's making on the comments that they put into this Wikipedia article are relating to what it's all about. Mobile commerce, electronic funds transfer, supply chain management, internet marketing, online transactional processing, EDI, inventory management systems, data collection. All of these things are things that can't not relate to a promotional products business. Um, the advancement in the way that um, everybody throughout the world is using e-commerce as a platform to promote their business and to generate sales is in everyday life for everybody and the promotional products market typically haven't got involved because they thought it was too complicated so what we need to do is to have a look at how we can get people involved in the e-commerce market and benefit from it and increase the sales levels for the promotional products distributor. I mean, when I looked at the history of e-commerce, it went back to 19, 1971, 1972. Some students at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology set up an intranet site, basically for selling cannabis. Right, but that was in 1971, 1972. So um, they obviously saw a market opportunity there. Um, but this is something that has been developing for over 40 years. Now from that, obviously quite a humble beginning, 40 years later, eMarketer.com, their latest forecasts um, earlier on this year said that they were expecting to see a 20.1% increase in e-commerce trade reaching a total of one and a half trillion US dollars. Now. Also, in addition to that, actually, um, estimates are also showing that purchases made on mobile devices will be up to 25% of the market share by 2017. So another area that needs to be considered when looking into the, your e-commerce strategy. Now, as far as examples go, one of the most obvious ones that people are very aware of is Vistaprint. Whatever you think of Vistaprint, you might just think of them as someone who supplies very cheap business cards because you see them advertised on the TV. Um, their estimated turnover this year is one and a half billion euros, which on accepted stats from the UK promotional products industry is larger than the whole industry. So what we need to think of here is how have they managed to get by selling printed items to that level of turnover and how we can um, incorporate that strategy into our traditional pro promotional products businesses. Um, now, just looking through this site, just on face value, it isn't, there's nothing out of the ordinary about this website. It has categories, it has subcategories, it's got sliding banners, it's got featured products, more featured products, top categories, top products, and a footer. So, and I'm sure everyone who's listed today, their websites probably have very similar things. But what they don't have is the ability for the customers to be able to personalize the products online and to buy them. And that is the whole Vistaprint model. 
Now, we don't want to just concentrate on Mr. Print. There are obviously people that are doing it. So an example of one of the sites, this is a site called Chronicle Promo Gear. Right? The idea behind their site is that everything on the site can be customized and bought online. They're actually utilizing Gateway 3D's 3D technology here. So this is a just a standard mug, which I've just uploaded a Harrods logo onto. Um, so the customer can see exactly what the product's going to look like. You're not entering text into a box down the side and then hoping that the text that you entered into the box will appear on the product in the right place and it will look okay. You actually have a live preview of what the thing is going to look like. So quite simply, select your quantity, tiered pricing table down here. So if I am the owner of Harrods, or the buyer of Harrods rather, rather than the owner, um, I need 250 mugs. I can see um, the unit prices here. That includes all setup. So it's simple. Add to cart. So that's the, the basic beauty of the principle. Um, Now, as far as incorporating this into existing websites, let's have a think about how you could use this as part of your market strategy. Um, one area that I'd considered, as well as obviously there are people that are using it already, like Promo Gear, which is, which is great, but there are um, other ways that it can be used. It could be used as your main website portal. So if you have an inquiry site at the moment, we could develop into this by incorporating e-commerce ready products so that customers, if their products are available, you might start off with a range of 100 products, add the software into the site, and then customers can buy even at the starting point, a limited range of products. Maybe it might be your best sellers. It might be the ones that you have uh, inquiries for in small quantities that um, you want people to be able to order online because the actual order process in time is more costly than the profit that it's likely to make. Um, so that's one way to look at it. And then develop your product range. You need to work with a program like this. This isn't going to automatically um, just generate money for you. People aren't going to automatically just use it. You need to do, as you need to market your business as a whole, you need to market the idea that people can buy online. So when people are phoning you up for inquiries, point them to the website, show them how it works. It's important to do the marketing and all the social media that relates to this because it's all part and parcel of the same package. Now, it could be incorporated, as I say, into your main promotional products websites. But another area that you could use it for are for client web stores. Now, the client web stores that we've set up, there are quite a lot of people who are um, utilizing it in this way, but they're obviously all locked behind usernames and passwords because they are distributed as clients' web stores. So I just thought of an obvious example is to just have a look at a, a retail brand and the merchandise that is available from them. So I went to an obvious big name like Coca-Cola, so the Coca-Cola store.com have a range of various products that the um, general public can just go on to and order. So if you just take this as I am now Coca-Cola's buyer, this is my ordering portal, and I need to order some t-shirts for a promotion. So I can go on to the generic Coca-Cola t-shirt. Now at this point, if we had personalization software set up in here, the generic t-shirts would load with the Coca-Cola logo on. But I would then have the ability to personalize this on top of the existing logo. So if there was a particular Coca-Cola promotion, if there were graphics that were required to go with it, I could load it up within the design. I could turn it onto the back of the garment and I could add the necessary artwork that I wanted to onto the back of it. And it can also be set up so as additional branding is added, the price changes. Um, and then there will be a tiered price instruction for the quantity that needs to be ordered. And it is as simple as adding to basket. Obviously, at this point, if it's a client store, they won't need to, they won't necessarily need to pay on a credit card. It can be set up that way, or it can be just basically put onto, onto account. Um, but then the order and the artwork and all the relevant details to process it 
don't need to be touched by anybody else. They just need to go straight through to production. Now, the templates, the screens, however the um, garment is going to be set up, obviously there will be a certain amount of pre-configuration with suppliers, printers, embroiderers, etc. Um, but for the new graphics, the artwork will be in formats that people will be able to work with and go directly to production. So you need to treat this as the actual proof. Customers signed it off by clicking the Add to Cart button. Additional warnings could come in saying, once you have added to cart, this is confirming that the design displayed is correct, etc. So, so you can make sure that everything is covered off like that. Um, But the thing about the way that the our system would work with our software embedded is that you can actually create the products yourself from a photograph. So it's a very simple and manageable way to look after uh, and tie in a client for a period of a supply contract that you would have. So the point of the webinar is to talk about the importance of e-commerce to the promotional products market. Now, I think from uh, what's happening in the general um, e-commerce market as a whole, um, the size of the market and the purchasing uh, or the spend within this market is increasing year on year. Um, the age of commercial buyers in blue chip organizations is obviously going down. Um, and their acceptance and use of the internet and their um, expectation that they can order whatever they need to order via a website will is only going to increase. So now is an ideal opportunity to get involved in this market. Um, we like to think that the Gateway 3D custom products platform is the most advanced personalized product uh, system available um, to build into a website so you know we are more than happy to advise on how we can help um, your business utilize the internet and um, the e-commerce side of that to increase uh, the service that you can offer your customers whether it's tying clients into web stores or whether it's for general sales um, so uh, by all means feel free to contact me with any questions that you may have um, and I hopefully this has brought a few things to the front of your mind just to think about how um, from a business point of view you could expand into this market and think of unique ways that your expertise can be translated into a product offering on the internet always a good idea to have a good angle, to could have a niche, uh, any specialities that you have, obviously because that will help on your, your the SEO to make sure that people can actually track you down um, as an individual that can offer something um, more on a unique basis. So um, they were the main things that I wanted to cover today. Um, if anybody has any questions, they can contact me. Um, uh, my... Um, Email address is ian at gateway3d.com. Um, hopefully, I will um, be speaking to um, be speaking to you all who've registered um, over the next week or so. Although there are quite a lot of people who've attended today, so that's um, that's excellent news. Um, so, if you have any questions or you'd like to contact me, the phone number for the office is 01625 355 781. Okay, thank you again for attending, and I'm sure I'll speak to you all soon.